Now in today's video, this is a question that I got recently from a coach on Instagram and he said, hey Ben, I'm having a hard time making a good first impression with the clients that I train. I'm a little nervous, I don't know what to say. What, what can I do to make that easier? And so what I wanted to do in this video is show you step by step how to make a good first impression with the clients that you train. And for me personally, this doesn't happen right when you meet them at the field or at the basketball court, wherever you do your training. This happens in the first initial phone call that they have with you. And actually it happens before that. Whenever they get to your website or whenever they see any of your marketing, that's really the first impression parents will have of you. They're gonna be like, oh, this guy looks really trustworthy. Or they'll be like, oh, this guy sucks. I don't want my kid to train with him. That's the only two things that are going through their head. There's no middle ground there, okay? So in your marketing, that to me is the first impression that you give off. Be the same if you're watching me right now. If your first impression of me was like, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, you're probably not gonna watch my videos. But if you are like, wow, this guy's offering a lot of value for free on YouTube, I trust him. I, I think he knows what he's talking about and he's proven results with other coaches. That is a good first impression, right? And on your end though, that starts with the marketing. Then I feel like the, the second impression that you have with them is when you're talking to parents over the phone. So hopefully you have a phone application uh, process set up. And if you don't, if you click on this button up here, I will show you how to do that step by step. But once you start talking to the parents, again, they are really sniffing you out at that point. They are seeing, well, can I trust this coach? Is this coach the right fit for us? Because these parents are also gonna be shopping around online. They're not just gonna call you and that's it. Parents are going to always look at multiple options before they commit to your program. Okay, so you have to have something that draws them in. And if, if your impression over the phone sucks, well, guess what? They're probably not going to train with you, okay? But if you're talking to them and you're asking them questions and you show them genuine interest and they get off that phone, they're like, wow, this guy really freaking cares about helping my kid. That's the impression you wanna leave them in a 15 minute call. That's not an impression most coaches give off, by the way, all right? And I know that because a lot of coaches that ask me about this, I know when they get on the phone with parents, they're just trying to sell something. They aren't giving those parents any real value. Um, and if those parents don't commit to the program, they'll never call them back again, okay? That impression over the phone is huge. Then from there, okay, if they wanna come to a trial session or something like that, the impression that you have when you physically meet them, when you shake their hand, when you see the kid for the first time, when you like, present yourself, like what are you wearing at the field or what are you wearing to the session? How do you look? These are really important things. I never realized and still, until I started training a lot of clients and then I started to take myself a little bit more serious. I'd show up earlier. I started to change my body posture when I was talking to parents. I started to have better eye contact with parents. Um, I, I stopped being shy. These were, these were problems and obstacles I used to have. Now, it's like a system. It's like, all right, the marketing is there. That will attract the right uh, parents into my ecosystem. Then the phone call, that is set up. That's a system. There's a script behind that. I know exactly what to say every single sentence. From there, it's like, I know exactly how to talk to the parents. Make sure the kid feels comfortable with me because if they don't, guess what? When Johnny gets back in the car after the first free trial session or however you do it, well, probably not gonna to wanna to train with you, he's not comfortable. So these are really important things that happen before these clients end up being clients because they're really just prospects until they agree to train with you for a long period of time. Okay, again, it starts with the marketing, then from there, it goes to the phone call, then from there, it goes to the first interaction you have with them. That to me, I, I just wish I would have known that early on when I first started training kids because I didn't. And there was nothing set up like that for me. It was just me meeting random people, uh, not presenting myself well, being really nervous, not having any questions to ask. Uh, the, and, I, and I know the kids were probably really nervous being around me because I was terrible at communicating back then. 
And so these are things that I want to help you with. And if you want to go a little deeper on this, all you have to do is shoot me a text right here. Shoot me a text, ask me any question. Uh, from there, I'd love to help you out. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up button and comment below if you want to ask me questions here on YouTube. So that's it. I'll see you soon.